Okay, we are at Pecan 3. Pecan 3. Out here, we need to fix this piece of wood. Add some screws on it. Okay, going inside. We've already had some cleaners come in here to take on, out a lot of things, kind of clean it. It still smells, uh, so we'll have to figure out something to take out that uh, that bad odor. There is um, the fi after fire canisters uh, that we can possibly use to bomb this place and get the smell out. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, so we're here in the living room. There's a few paint marks or scratches in the walls. Okay, uh, so it, this is going to be, we're not going to change the paint color. We're going to leave this color as it is. This is the same paint as unit 18, that greenish color. Uh, so there's going to be a touch of paint, the baseboards, um, baseboards do have some scratches on them as well, some paint, okay, wall, ceiling, works make sure it does oh, so let's lift this a little bit okay fan works AC vent is decent okay okay so the fan is making some noise there something probably needs to be Tighten. Let me keep that there. The dining room area and kitchen. We need a door stopper there. Again, base port needs, needs to be touched up with paint. The walls, not really. The walls here are in good shape, except a few bugs that are around it's a bunch of flies um, in that corner used to be cleaned up and caught there around the um, the tile I'm running the dishwasher right now the garbage disposal I think there's something in there so we'll, we'll need to check that out um, We'll probably need to replace this one, this face right there. It's the one below the sink. You can see some water damage there. Uh, upper cabinets, very light touch of paint, especially where people grab them. At least this first set here. Then as you move forward again, just a little bit right there, you can see uh, all the spots where, where people grab them. It's for its most damage. Pantry. Pantry door was fine. It is missing one of the shelves. There should have been another shelf there. And that bottom one is warped. So we'll have to replace that one. Uh, we, we might just put it over the one that's currently there. Top top is fine the vent as you can see vent is dirty so we'll have to get that out clean it above the uh, stove again just light touch up buttons there right there right there is where we need it and This stove right here, the glass part of it, as you can see, it's rusted. Let's see if there's anything we can do to kind of mask that. We've got the same here. 
and the same there. Okay, so the light here just turned off. light turned off but it's still kind of there Let's see we'll have to take a look into this light picture under the range hood this door as you can see this door next to the stove is needs to be oops, needs to be attached there it is not attached correctly. Okay, on this side, that's fine. And just a little bit of touch of paint there. Okay, we've got that one there. Okay, so the back burner there is struggling. Okay, this front one worked just fine. That one worked just fine. Let's try the back one again. Okay, so we'll have to take a look at that back burner there. So it is not turning on correctly. Under the sink. There's no leaks here. Let's go ahead and cancel that. This refrigerator was missing this door handle. I just replaced it. And we'll have to replace the glass that should go there. And as you can see, there is broken there at the bottom so I'll buy that glass and get the model number there and that is a refrigerator and it's also missing the little shelf there inside okay as we go into the hallway nothing much in this hallway just a few scratches there in the bottom most of this scratches and paint seems to be in the bottom portion of this of this unit okay here in the restroom let's turn that off not much to be done around the tub we do need to have some paint there Possibly some grout or caulking there and some caulking all through that edge right there as you can see we can see that gap all throughout um, okay sink is in very good shape there the cabinet just needs a little bit of touch of paint to make it look nice. So that's the water heater, it's a ring. Okay, let's close that. This door, good shape. It is missing a door stopper. Okay. Bedrooms really don't need much. The walls are in good shape. This door needs to be cleaned out there so you can see a little bit. But the top part, we can see the light coming through. It is locked and light is coming through. see 
So nothing in this room really other than that door. Oh, um, the closet handles do need to be fixed and painted right there. As you can see, those. Those are kind of coming off. And we do need to kind of level this door. Go to the top, a little bit unleveled, and then you get to the bottom. It's a huge gap. Let's fix that. We'll have to replace that door stopper. As it is not doing anything. It might be need to be put in a different spot or a little higher but nothing in that room then bedroom number two just baseboards really is what needs paint baseboards the rest of this unit is fine coming to the closet we are missing the bar and just a few touch-up spots there. Oh. Close this one. Fan is missing a light bulb there. Frames, door frames need to be painted again. It's, it's got some scrapes. Door frame bottom there. I don't think this room was used. I have to clean those those out. I think there might be some bugs in there. And it's missing a light as well. So both bedrooms are missing light bulbs. AC filter. I mean, yes, AC filter 14 by 25. Let's go ahead and replace that. Let's have someone clean this out. Clean all these pans. They've all been dirty. Um, there's no way for me to get any information out of out of that there. So okay. So from that, everything else is good here. Okay, and that's it for con three. Oh, let's see if you guys have a screw to fix this. This front door there. Yeah, that that's it for con three.